Today, we are going to flow. I will be moving you through different Pilates mat exercises, working on your deep core, finding a very, very deep connection between your muscles that encompass your deep core. What those are, mainly, we have a lot of different muscles that go into our core, but the deep core is number one your pelvic floor. Imagine it's like a sling and lifting up towards your pelvis. That's your deep core number one. Deep core number two is your transverse abdominis. It is a muscle that wraps like a belt around the lower part of your abdominals. And it's very close to your pelvis and your spine giving you a ton of support. I call the transverse abdominis the magic muscle. It can help control lower back pain, knee pain, amongst a bunch of other great things. And then number three is your diaphragm. And it's not talked about very much how important the diaphragm is, let alone that it's a very important part of your deep core. So when I say one, two, three, that's my cue to you to tap into those muscles. If you're not feeling them right away, just keep practicing. It comes with time and it comes with practice. If you have any questions along the way, please leave me a comment at the end or let me know, send me a private message. And if you like what you're seeing today, let me know as well. I will be saving this to YouTube on a private um, secure link. So if you would like a copy of this class afterwards to refer back to or to share with your friends, please let me know. Make your way onto the floor. You will need either a mat or just something that you can um, be comfortable with while lying down. I have a rolled up blanket, so feel free to grab a pillow or a blanket as well for some of the fascia stretches. And we will start on your back. Taking the first moment to just settle in here. I feel a lot of settling in my thoracic spine when I lay down because of probably working on my phone already this morning. So let your upper back settle into the floor. Take inventory of where you're feeling your body connect with the floor. Imagine that triangular bone at the base of your spine right here, your sacrum, finding a strong connection straight down into the floor. Next, check in that you have 50% body weight distribution in both your right and left leg. Next, think about your feet. Typically, we shift when we just rest without realizing it. Try to make a contact with the pad of your big, big toe the pad of your big pinky toe and your heel. So each of those three points, like a footprint in the sand, into the ground. When I do that, I feel my left leg join the party. So my sacrum's connected, 50% each leg, footprint in the sand. Shoulder blades are gliding down your back, your arms are at your side, palms down. Lengthen the back of your neck. Deepen that connection, take a deep breath in. Big exhale out. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Push the breath out all the way. Inhale, expand your rib cage. Exhale, pushing the breath out. Thinking about that one, two, three. Inhale, and as you exhale, Pressing into the connection, into the floor, and engage pelvic floor transverse diaphragm. Good, one more time, inhale. Exhale, one, two, three. Connect, deep core. Good, pelvic tilt. Imagine a tail coming straight out of your tailbone. First, tilt the tail up through the legs towards the ceiling, lengthening the lower back into the floor. Pause right here, feel the connection in your feet, 50-50 legs, and your one, two, three. Next, carry that tailbone down through the floor, creating a small pocket of air below your lower back here. If you have discomfort or pain at any point, avoid that range of motion. Reversing, lengthening. Press through your feet a little bit more. Feel your hamstrings, your glutes, and the stretch in your lumbar spine. Bringing that tailbone down, arching the spine gently. Let your spine move with your body. Good, pressing through length and pelvic tilt. Now find that transverse I talked about. We'll go back to that in a second. Arch and carry it down. 
So from here, we're going in our full range of motion. So we're finding as far as we can tilt, we're connecting with it, and then reversing it, carrying it down, stretching. Let's do one more full range of motion. Lengthen, press into the feet, hamstrings, glutes. Drop it down gently, arching the back. Continue with that motion, but go smaller. So you're basically rocking like a boat with your tailbone, the pelvis moving, until you find a settled position where your sacrum is connected to the floor and you feel like you are in your neutral spine. One thing to note about neutral spine, you're not pressing your back into the floor for neutral. You actually maintain a very slight curve in that lower back. To check in and make sure you're not over tilting your pelvis, your hip flexors should be turned off. So I'm tilting too much because my hip flexors are engaged. Release that ever so slightly. Good. Now once you're in neutral, take your fingertips to your hip bones, go in one inch and press down where it's soft. Get yourself a little cough. <coughs> That muscle that you feel underneath your fingertips is your transverse abdominis, your magic muscle. When you engage it, it should push your fingers up. Practice with me. If you're having difficulties, let me know. I can try to help you later. Or just keep practicing on your own. Eventually, it does come together. So it's relaxed to begin. And now contract, cough if you need to. <coughs> Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Release, push down and engage. Transverse engages. Now lift your pelvic floor and as you exhale, that's your diaphragm core. Find that upper diaphragm just below your sternum. Relax everything. Connect one more time that full core. First, transverse. Push your fingers up to the sky. Engage your pelvic floor and your diaphragm. Holding five, four, three, two, one. Arms at your side, palms down. Maintain that core. Check back in with it. Reach your fingertips for your toes. Inhale, arms up to 90 degrees. Exhale, lengthen, arms reach back down to your side, opening across your chest. Neutral spine. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, down. Create length. You're anchoring your shoulders as you're reaching through your fingertips. Up and exhale, down. Going into a further extension. Inhale, arms up. Lift your shoulders up. Extend your arms back, but the key is to not let your rib cage leave your body. Take your ribs down. I can see both my biceps in my peripheral vision. Lengthening the back of the neck. Now press back into your feet. Find the full body connection. Inhale. Exhale brings your arms back up. Shoulders set and lengthen down to your side. One more like that. Inhale, arms reach up to 90. Shoulders lift. Extend your arms back. Stay connected with your deep core. Check in with your pelvic floor, transverse diaphragm. Hold another three, two, and one. Inhale, and exhale, arms come up, shoulders step, and lengthen back down to your side. Very good. Bring your right leg up to 90-90, and left leg up to meet it. Zip your legs together here, so you're feeling your outer hamstrings pull in, and your outer glutes pull in. Making sure that your feet are touching and you're flexing at your feet. Inhale, arms come up to 90 degrees. Exhale, lifts you up, head, neck, and shoulders curling up to the tips of the shoulder blades. First, take a hold here for five, four, three, two, one, and lower it down, making sure your core is engaged the entire time. We're going to go into the hundreds. We're going to pump the arms and breathe with a five count in, five count out. Inhale, arms up to 90 degrees. Exhale, lift. Stay here for a moment. Arms are aligned with your hips. Find a slight chin tuck, but I'm gazing at my belly button. You feel, you feel like you want to lift your legs up, you may, or drop them away from you, you may, or keep them bent and flex. Pump the arms up and down like you're patting water. Now the breath is in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five, in. Out, deepen your core and your exhale. In, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in. You can change it up along the way as I'm doing. Good. In, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, I'm getting warm, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in. Out, two, three, four, five, in. Last one. Out, two, three, four, five, and rest. 
knees to your chest, head comes down. Turn your head side to side, release any tension in your neck. If you have any neck issues at any point during any of the exercises or the stretches, you can bring your head down and rest. Okay, making your way into our first fascia stretch for our lumbar spine. Both hands go underneath your knees, bringing your feet away from you, so you're stretching your arms as far as they'll go. You can curl up if you like to get a little bit more in range, or you can keep your head down. Resist both legs away from you, so you're feeling the resistance in your butt and in your hamstrings. So resisting away, and your core is working. Look at that. Draw your knees towards your chest as they resist away. Start with them away from you, resist away. Knees to your chest. You bring the head down, resist both legs away. When you add resistance to a shortened muscle, you are then stretching the fascia. The combination of Pilates and fascia is just wonderful. You'll walk away feeling very, very tall and strong in your posture and flexible in your body. Two more. Legs press away. This is gentle. It's not very, very um, powerful. You're just finding the connection. Resist away and draw your knees to your chest. Hug your knees. Head comes down to rest. Side to side of the neck. Good. Bring your feet back down to the ground. And you want to bring your feet about hip width apart. So hip width apart for me is here. This would be wider than hip width apart. So check in with your hips, check in with your legs. Go back to your 50-50 footprint in the sand. This is your start position. Go into that posterior pelvic tilt that we began with. Now you are lengthening your lower spine into the floor. Press down through your feet first. We're going to get the fascia engaged by activating those muscles as we slowly peel up into our first bridge. You can find any adjustments here to start to feel connected with your position. You're lengthening. Make sure not to overextend to reach too far into that lower back. You want to kind of keep a flat, almost plank-like position with your spine. Arms are pressing down into the floor. Lengthen the back of the neck. Engage hamstrings and glutes. Lower about an inch and squeeze the glutes to lift. Down and lift. Down and lift. Good, so finding little baby pulses here, but your connection's different than just being here. Pressing the arms down into the floor, your feet down into the floor. Staying active, and squeeze five, four, three, two, hold it up on one for five, four, three, two, one. Now hug the heels in towards your butt. As you lengthen one vertebrae down at a time. Good. Release your glutes, let everything go. Releasing tension through the body, then reset. Press your feet down. This time we're gonna add a little fascia work while we're gonna go into our bridge. Press your feet down and forward away from you, feeling it a little bit in your quads here. Once you have it evenly, I have to make my left leg show up a little bit more. Pelvic tilt, peel it up one vertebrae at a time to find that bridge again. Keep resisting your feet forward. See what that feels like. And going into your pulses here. And squeeze, and squeeze, and squeeze. Good, keeping it up, keep resisting forward. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, now heels pull in towards your glutes to lengthen. Back down, one vertebrae at a time. Hug your knees to your chest. Bring your nose to your knees for a full body stretch for five, four, three, two, and one. Lowering your upper body down, going into a fascia stretch for your hamstrings. Right leg is down, left leg is up, and you're grabbing underneath your knee. You can, again, be up with your body here if you'd like, and extend your arms away and your leg away from you. Or if you want to bring your head down, feel free to do that as well. You're going to resist your leg away from you. So this is my left leg that's up. I'm resisting my left leg away from me. I'm engaging my core for extra Pilates core work. Feeling the resistance in your hamstrings and in your butt. While you resist away from you, your arms will over overcome that resistance and bring the leg towards you for a fascia stretch. Extend the leg away, resist away, draw that knee in. 
If you are doing fascia stretching for the first time, it is new, confusing sometimes, and almost opposite of what you'd expect. And it takes a little bit for the brain to make the connection here. Let's do three more. Resist the leg away. Keep resisting it away. You can think about where the resistance is coming from. I'm actually making my glutes resist a little bit more because I feel like they need it. Good. One more time here. Resist the leg away. Strengthening your arms as you're fascia stretching your hamstrings. Good. Recover. Switch it up. Bring that left leg down, right leg up, or if you have the other one, just switch to the other side. Curl up or stay down. Leg reaches away, resist the leg away. Feel it in the hamstrings, the back of the thigh, and in your butt. Bringing the leg towards you. It's not about how far you're going. The benefit happens at the very beginning of the movement. When you first start away and resist, this initial movement is where you're changing the connective tissue in your leg. Oh, this feels good. You have control over how much resistance you use. Drop those shoulders away from the ears as I notice mine were hiking way up there. Three more. Three. Thank you for those of you joining me today. Two. One more time. Stay with it. Your breath is on your own and let it rest. If your head is up and it feels tension side to side, let your knees just wave side to side a few times. Just kind of getting everything worked out here. Making our way into our Pilates ab series. Stay with me with this. And if you feel that you need to take a rest at any point, do so and join back up when you're able to. Along with all the rest of the step, we start with our head up for a lot of this work. Always bring your head down if you feel like your neck is had enough. And beginning first with your knees towards your chest, give them a little hug and curl both arms up, shoulders up, nose to your knees to begin. Find your one, two, three, pelvic floor, transverse diaphragm. Both hands grab your right knee, extend your left leg away. Flex or point whatever is most natural to you. I'm going to point today. Elbows open to the side, create air underneath your armpits. Use that deep core to stabilize the body without movement as the legs switch. Feel the inner thighs brushing by each other with energy and switch. The key with Pilates is that the whole body is stable and strong by using those deep core muscles as the other parts are moving, my arms and my legs. Four, three, two, and one. Hug the knees in, rest the head. Inhale, full breath in. And exhale, push the breath out. Legs extend up, curling up, both hands grab behind your right ankle as high as you can. Doesn't matter if it's up at the ankle or just behind your calf or behind your knee. Other leg is going to reach away. Find your pause here. Check back. One, two, three. Use your core to switch. Your arms are gently pulling the leg in a couple inches and switch. If you need to bring your head down, please feel free to do so. Reaching energy through your feet, you're anchoring your hips and your core stabilizing your body. And switch, and switch, and switch. Here's four, three, keeping your back supported. Two, if you feel this in your back, and one. Coming out, let it rest. Head comes down side to side. Doing good, guys. Thanks for joining me here. Back to center, curl up tips of the shoulder blades. Extend your legs up or keep them bent at 90 degrees. I'm going to bring my hands back to support my head for this one. And then from here, whether you're at 90 degrees with your knees or all the way up, your back stays flat in control. So if you start to lose that connection, you're going too far. Either bend the knees or don't lower as much. This is called lower lift. Zip those legs together. Squeeze your glutes in. Fire your core. Lower to where you can. Exhale brings you back up. Inhale to lower, my core is feeling warm. Exhale, back up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, up. Inhale to lower. Whew. Exhale, up. Two more. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Rest. Deep breath in and out. 
hands back behind your head again. Exhale, curl up, tips of the shoulder blades. Now bringing your legs to 90-90. Opposite armpit to the knee. So not elbow, but armpit like this. Rather than this, you're here. So you're creating a deeper core contraction. My inner thighs are brushing by each other, I'm squeezing the muscles in my leg, and I'm trying to twist with the same feeling in my rib cage, each side. Armpit to the knee. Armpit to the knee. Energize yourself. Push through it here. Here's five. And five. Four. Four. Three. Three. Two. Two. One more time. One. And one. Knees to your chest. Rest. Take a deep breath in. And big exhale out. Excellent. Making your way into a fascia stretch for your upper body. Keeping your legs where they are. Right hand's gonna come up and grab on top of the left knee. Left hand comes up and grabs on top of the right knee. My resistance is as if my hands are pulling across. I'm feeling my chest engage as if my arms are pulling in, almost like you're squeezing the knees in. My legs are gonna overpower the resistance of my arms and start to open to the side, stretching the fascia in my arms. Come back in without resistance. Press the hands in. The knees will push the arms out. Use your deep core here. Keep with the theme of Pilates. So even though we're fast stretching our arms and upper body, we're using our core to help. Not to mention strengthening our legs here. Very much a Pilates type of move. But we're getting a fascia stretch at the same time. One more time with this arm on top. Let your breath work flow, whatever is natural for you. Back to center. Switch so that the other arm is on top now. Same thing, hands resist in. Use that deep core, use the strength of the legs to open up to the side. Let's try it with your head up. Feel free to bring it up or down. Changes slightly where the fascia stretch is happening. Resist the hands in. Knees open. In, three more. Three, start in, resist in with those hands. Whew, make it work. Two, one more time. Yeah, and one. Woo, shake it out. Make your way onto your side. Feel free to have that pillow, that rolled up blanket here if you need to. Grab a sip of water or a tea. And making your way into our sideline series. Finding a comfortable position with one arm either underneath you here, or you can rest your, your head all the way down. I'm gonna come up like this today, because it feels good, and bring both legs straight to 45 degrees. I'm gonna scoop back on my mat a little bit here. Okay, you're set up, hip on top of hip, shoulder on top of shoulder, meaning I don't wanna be here or pulled back here, torquing into my spine. I want my spine to be neutral. Belly is engaged, that pelvic floor transverse diaphragm. Bottom leg press down into the floor to activate your foundation. Squeeze your butt cheek on top, flex your top foot and lift. Point and lower. Flex, lift, point, lower. Long leg, long muscles, point, lower. Flex, lift, squeeze, point, lower. Flex, lift, I use a pause here, now bounce, point, lower. Flex, lift, point, lower, two more, flex, lift, point, lower, flex, lift, point, and hover. Good, check in, pelvic floor good, deep good. Continue with a pointed foot first, lift, flex, lower without touching, point, lift, flex, lower, point, lift, flex, lower, point, lift, flex, lower, two more, point, Lift, flex, lower, squeeze it, point, lift, flex, and lower, and rest. Woo, shake it out for a second. We're gonna add on a little bit more here. Don't know if you can hear, but I have reggae music going. I don't know, it just felt really fun for today. Kind of like a jazzy kind of flow, feels good. Let's take your hand in front here so you can get a nice strong base. Find that deep core, hover your top foot up, bottom leg is pressing down. 
When you add that activation everywhere else in your body from what's moving, you are getting deep core, deep stabilizing muscles activated. We're making circles here, starting forward, down, around, and up. So your pause and your kind of butt squeeze is when you finish at the top, when you put the brakes on. Circle down, around, and up. Two, three, four, five. Use that deep core. Six, seven, one more time. Eight, reverse it. Down, forward, and up. Eight, and seven. Stabilize, lock up the body. Six, five, four, woo, three, I feel it. Two, and hold it up on one. Reach, now point your foot, lengthen it. Squeeze your glutes, your hamstrings, your quads, your deep core for five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. All right, we're gonna fascia stretch our piriformis and glutes on the leg that we just worked. Making your way back down, Onto your back, cross your leg that you just worked, the leg that was on top, over the other knee. Check in with your pelvis so that you are level with your hips. Reach both hands through the other leg that's not crossed and grab behind the knee. Start with your arms straight, your upper body lifted or down. Your main resistance is the leg that's crossed going away from you, especially the ankle into the thigh. Feel it in the butt of the leg that is crossed over. We're fascia stretching this deep, dense fascia tissue in our glute area, all around our sacrum and pelvis, our ischial tuberosity or your butt bone. So you're resisting your legs away, but your arms are bringing both legs into the chest. This leg that I'm holding on to is also helping. So my arms and that leg are helping to overcome the resistance of the leg that's crossed to come into the chest. Three more, press it away. Three, press it away. Two, woo, make it work, one more time. Good, bring that foot down to the ground, stay crossed over with this leg. Both hands come up and grab behind this knee. You can also take this ankle and lower it down a little bit to get a little different fascia stretch. Press down through the foot that's on the floor Press your knee that's crossed away from you. Feel it in your deep glute. Use the strength of your arm to pull across towards the opposite shoulder. Reach it open, resist it open. Use the strength of the arms to pull. Head comes down or up, resist it away. Focus these next two on the ankle or foot, pressing deep into the thigh of the other leg. Notice how that changes. One more time, press it away. Draw it in and across. One more here before we switch to the other side. Stay here with your knee into your chest. Take your hands on the inside of your knee. Knee resists in, like it wants to hug in towards you, but you're gonna overpower that with your hands. Feel free to come up at the end to get a little bit more range of motion or stay down with your head. Knee comes in, resists in, and your hands push it out. In, use your abdominals, find that deep core again. Two more, in, feel your hip flexors here as best you can along with your inner thighs activating. Last one, in, keep it resisting. Woo, awesome. Changing sides, I'm going to bring this over here for you. All right, move my T so I don't knock it over with my sideline series. Finding a comfortable position, again, for your upper body. I'm gonna come to the edge of my mat here and then swing my legs forward. Hip on top of hip, belly engaged, finding that neutral position, now find that deep core, pelvic floor, transverse diaphragm. Bottom leg press down into the floor, top leg hover and flex your foot to begin. Reach it. Not comfortable with my upper body, feels different on this side. Squeeze your top glute, keep it engaged the whole time, lift, point it, and lower. Flex, lift, point, and lower. Flex, long leg, point, and lower. Squeezing, and up, point, lower. Flex, lift, point, lower. Flex, lift, point, lower. Flex, now you go higher or lower, wherever your comfort level is. Up, point, pause. Hover it, squeeze it more. Deeper in your core, keep it pointed, long leg, lift, flex it at the top, lower it down, point, Lift, 
flex, lower, point, lift, flex, lower, point, lift, flex, whoo, four, and three, deep in that core, and two, good job everyone, one, and now you can really let it rest, whoo, take an inhale, Set your core back up, one, two, three. Hover your foot up, flex or point wherever you feel is most comfortable. Circle forward, down, put the brakes in at the top and squeeze your butt. Circle forward, down and up, two, three, four, five. Squeeze that leg, six, work it to the end. Seven, one more time, and eight, pause. Reverse it back, down, forward and up, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one more time, and one, hover it, hold it, point your foot, bottom leg is pressed down, core, one, two, three, five, four, three, two, one, rest, awesome, let's stretch this side out, on your back, crossing the leg that you just worked over the other knee, level pelvis, tighten that core, both hands grab behind the knee, and then either curl up or keep your head down. Resist the leg that's crossed away from your body. Feel it in that butt. Feel it in the ankle pressing into your thigh. Once you have it, overpower that resistance so the leg and my arms push that crossed foot towards you. Resist it away. Feel it in your butt. Make sure that you think about where you want that resistance to come from. Where does your body need it? Start away, press away. Arms overcome. And resist it away. This is awesome for any of those that have any low back pain and discomfort. Our glutes can get really tight in fascia, in connective tissue, and then lose the strength and the muscles. And then your stability changes and your muscle distribution that's working for you to walk Sit and stand, becomes imbalanced. One more, press it away. Whoo, make it work, good. Bring that foot down, lower your ankle down on your thigh if you're able to. Both hands come up to behind the opposite knee. Resist your knee straight out into your hands and your ankle into your thigh. Once you have it, use the strength of your arms to pull the knee towards you. Open, resist away. Let your breath move. Head up or head down. Excellent. Resist away. Four more. Four. Three. Almost there. Two. One more time. Keep your knee here. Hands go to the inside of the knee. Knee resists in towards you. Your hands press it away. Start in, resist in, feeling a little focus on your inner thighs, your adductors, and a little bit into your hip flexors. Good. Three more. Three. Use your core here. Two. One more time. Yeah. And one. Hug your knees to your chest. Inhale. Ribs expand. Exhale. Ribs connect back to the body. One more inhale. Big exhale out. Gently roll into your side to come up onto your hands and knees. Hands below your shoulders, knees below your hips. Moving your hair out of your way. Taking a belly lift up, head releases down. Now feel your tailbone dropping down and your belly lifting up. Space and openness between your shoulders. Now resist your hands back and your knees forward, and as you do that, drop your belly down and gently gazing forward towards the top of your mat. Press your hands forward, your knees back into the mat as you round back up. You need a fascia stretch to your whole spine. Hands resist back, knees forward, belly drops. Now hands forward, knees back, belly lifts. One more time. Hands resist in, knees forward, belly drops. 
and reverse. Hands forward, knees back, belly lifts. Come into a flat back. Bring your hands in front of you, your knees apart and your feet together. Hands resist back as if they want to slide underneath you in a V type of position, like they want to reach your belly button. But you're locking them in place and at the same time you're resisting pulling the hips back and keeping your head neutral. Back up, shift forward, resist hands back, knees forward. Keeping your abdominals engaged, pulling back. Feeling this possibly between your shoulder blades. Let the flow happen. And forward, resist. Go slower if you need to. And forward, three more, resisting. Stay with the resistance, that's the key to fascia stretching. Use your core, the key to Pilates. Go back. Last one, guys, forward. Add that resistance, keep going forward, keep with it. Don't let it go. Holding three, press those hands into the floor, two, and one. Take a seat. Good. All right, nice, ready for the day, good posture. Sitting tall, take your rib cage in, and lift your pelvic floor. Find that transverse, that deep muscle like a belt, and your diaphragm. Close your eyes, and think about your one, two, three. Notice how that change of supports your body. Let it relax, and back again. Pelvic floor, lifting, engaging like a sling, lifting up. Transverse, like a belt across, and your diaphragm on your exhales. Your diaphragm is voluntary and involuntary. We want to use it as our core to support our upper body. Opening the eyes, take a deep breath in. Big exhale out. Inhale, arms reach. Hands press together as you lower your thumbs to your sternum. And there you have it. Combination of Pilates mat, deep core strengthening exercises with fascia stretch exercises to increase flexibility. Have a wonderful day. Please let me know if you have any questions and I'll be seeing you soon. Take care everyone. Bye.